Hello and welcome to another complete OCR GCSE PE lesson. In this one we'll be making a start on topic 1.4, the cardiovascular and respiratory systems, beginning with the first learning objective on the structure and function of the cardiovascular system. Now I've already made a video covering everything you need to know on this topic. I'll put a link to that one in the description. So we'll use this video to focus on how to apply that information to past exam questions, which is ultimately what will determine your grade. Before we begin, if you're interested in the slides I'm using here, I'll leave a link down below. They follow the OCR syllabus exactly and contain absolutely everything you need to teach or study the course from start to finish, including the questions and answers we'll be covering in this video. Okay, so the first question is to name the artery that carries deoxygenated blood to the lungs, and that one is the pulmonary artery. In the lungs, the blood becomes oxygenated and then it's carried back to the heart in the pulmonary vein. Next question from the same paper. At rest, Rahim has a heart rate of 70 beats per minute and a stroke volume of 80 milliliters. Which one of the following is Rahim's cardiac output at rest? Now you need to know that cardiac output can be calculated by multiplying heart rate and stroke volume. So 70 beats per minute times 80 milliliters is 5,600 milliliters per minute. Next, figure four shows a diagram of the heart. Using figure 4, draw an X to indicate the location of the bicuspid valve. And the bicuspid valve is the valve that prevents backflow of blood from the left ventricle to the left atrium. The other atrioventricular valve on the right side of the heart is the tricuspid valve. The second part of the same question, valves help to prevent the backflow of blood. The bicuspid valve or bicuspid valve prevents blood flowing back into which chamber of the heart and as I've already mentioned that is the left atrium. The next question is to define heart rate which is the number of times the heart beats per minute and I've put in brackets here BPM which stands for beats per minute. Next, stroke volume is the amount of air leaving the lungs in one breath, the amount of air leaving the lungs in one minute, the amount of blood leaving the heart in one beat, or the amount of blood leaving the left ventricle in one minute. Well, the first two relate to the respiratory system, which will be the focal point of our next video, and option D is the definition of cardiac output. So the correct answer for this one is option C, the amount of blood leaving the heart in one beat. Next, name the blood vessel that transports Sports blood from the left ventricle towards the muscles and that one is the biggest artery in the body, the aorta. Figure 2 shows a diagram of the heart. Using figure 2 draw an X to indicate the location of one of the semilunar valves. Now the semilunar valves are the valves at the entrances to the major arteries. So we could have drawn an X at the entrance to the pulmonary artery or the aorta and I've chosen the pulmonary artery here. The second part of the question, valves help prevent the backflow of blood, the semilunar valves prevent blood flowing back into which part of the heart, and that is the ventricles. One function of the skeleton is the production of red blood cells. Describe the role of red blood cells during a cross-country race, and I've put here that red blood cells transport oxygen from the lungs to the working muscles, and carbon dioxide from the muscles to the lungs, and you need to put down both of these points to get the two marks. Next, describe how the septum affects blood flowing through the heart. So the septum divides the left and right sides of the heart. You're not actually going to get a mark for that one. The way it affects blood flow through the heart is it keeps oxygenated blood on the left side separate from deoxygenated blood on the right side. The next one is to define cardiac output and cardiac output is the volume of blood ejected from the left ventricle per minute and I put in brackets liters per minute. It's all always a good idea to include the units if you can. Next up, state the function of valves in the heart, and of course that's to prevent blood from flowing backwards, and then the bicuspid and tricuspid valves are structures in the heart. Name one other valve in the heart, and you have two to choose from. We have the aortic or pulmonary valve, and these are both semilunar valves. Figure one shows a diagram of the heart. Identify the part of the heart that is labelled incorrectly in 
figure one, and that is of course the pulmonary vein. The correct label here would be the vena cava. Finally, the human heart is part of a single circulatory system. Is this statement true or false? Draw a circle around your answer. And this is of course false because the human heart is part of a double circulatory system consisting of systemic and pulmonary circuits. Okay, so that's everything for this video on the structure and function of the cardiovascular system. Join me next time for the second part of topic 1.4 on the structure and function of the respiratory system.